Now, you aim at something, you got a goal, and then you see that you're making progress towards the goal. That's a good thing. That makes you happy. It actually, technically, there's a system, dopamine system, neurochemical system, same system, by the way, that cocaine and methamphetamine and, and opiates activate, which is why people like to take those drugs, and it tells you that you're, you're moving forward in the manner that you should be according to the dictates of your plan. Doesn't necessarily tell you whether you have a good plan. That, that's a more complicated problem, because who knows if you have a good plan. But, but one thing that you could know is that a plan is better than no plan. That's a really useful thing to know, especially if you're kind of drifting. It's like, well, I'm going to find myself. It's like, no, just pick something and, and move towards it. And as you move towards it, you're going to succeed and fail specifically. And then you're going to learn something about success specifically, and you're going to learn something about failure specifically. And then you can learn what you use to fix your plan. So, so a stupid plan is way better than no plan. And you're likely to have a stupid plan, or at least to be able to make one. So that's good news for everybody. You can make a stupid plan. And so I would say, make a stupid plan. And then implement it. Not any stupider than it has to be. You know, you could think about it a little bit. But then implement it. And have your successes and failures along the way. And learn from them. And then you can, rig, you can rejig the goal. You can move the target. That, that's fine. That's, that's, that's part of the game. It doesn't have to be fixed. It's a movable target. And maybe what you're trying to do is to move the target to an ever better place. So, so you're moving towards a target. And at the same time, you're moving the target. Right. And... And, and you're trying to move the target towards something like an ultimate ideal. You're trying to find out what that ultimate ideal is. And part of the way you figure that out is by moving towards a target and by learning about success and failure along the way. Because then you can inform yourself with regards to what might constitute a reasonable aim. And so that's the reason to go out in the world and like, make some mistakes, you know? And then you're going to. And so it's okay. It's okay to make the mistakes. It's not so okay not to learn from them. Because then you make the mistakes again, that seems pointless. 